Hi YC, welcome to Task Pigeon. Task Pigeon is a task management application augmented by an on-demand marketplace of freelancers to help you and your team get more done each day. I'm going to run through this demonstration for you, but in the description below you will see login details where you can access this demo account that I've put together for you. Uh, this is a, a demo account as if the company is a startup that's actually looking to apply for the YC program. That's why they have a couple of categories associated with YC research and the YC application pro, uh, process itself. <clears throat> So Task Pigeon was designed with the idea in mind that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to task management. While some people may like to work from a task tile view, other people may prefer our list view, and there is also the ability to uh, use Kanban boards. Switching back to the tile view for a second, I'm going to show you our left-hand filtering. So at the moment, what we're looking at is the group task dashboard. This allows you to see tasks assigned to anyone in your team. It's a great way of seeing who is working on what and having that global overview of your team's progress and success. You can of course filter to my tasks. This just shows you exactly what you're responsible for. So in this instance we're logged in as Suzanne Johnson and we can see that Suzanne is associated with each and every one of these tasks. We also have the ability to mark tasks as in progress, note those that are due soon, and of course display tasks that have been complete. I'm going to get to our marketplace offering in just a second but for now I'm going to jump back to the group task dashboard. You also see we have categories or individual projects here which allow you to filter your dashboard as well. So for example if we click YC application we can see that this team has two tasks associated with that category. They've got a review of their YC application with, with a guy called Roger Jones, and they also have a task to submit their final YC application. This level of filtering also holds true as you um, move between each of the main dashboard areas. So for example, if I go to my tasks, I can see that I have these two tasks that I am responsible for within the YC application category. Same thing if I move to in progress, for example, we can see that only one of those tasks is currently marked as in progress. I'm going to switch back to our group task view and go back to the all category now and just switch over to the list view to give you a little bit of a better look at that. With our list view, again, you have access to all of the filtering on the left hand side. You can also mark tasks as complete direct from your dashboard. Finally, the Kanban board view. This is one of our most popular views and also works great if you like to do the to do, doing and done methodology. In this instance, however, I've got different categories associated with each board, and you can add a new board by clicking the plus button, selecting the category from the drop-down list, and it will automatically populate. Of course, with Kanban board view, uh, and all of our other views for that matter, you can easily drag and drop tasks from one category to another if you so choose. I'm going to jump back to our task tile view for a second and show you what uh, an actual task look like. So, for example, if we open up this deal here, you'll see that we actually support the ability to create individual checklist-based tasks. So in this instance, the uh, task to close a deal with Acme Corporation has a number of steps associated with it, and Zach and Suzanne have marked two of those five things as complete so far. <clears throat> in, addition, in addition to checklist tasks, we also have the ability to create um, general tasks where there's a text-based description, and you can see an example of that here. Now, I'll just very quickly show you that new task creation field. So if you hit new task, you'll see that you can enter the task headline, details, attach files from uh, your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Box. We have some quick select deadlines as well as a custom date option, the ability to assign categories and also individual users to that. We also have the ability to create a private task. A private task is a task that can only be viewed by the person who created it and those who are assigned to it. It's a great way of keeping tasks hidden if it's something that's more sensitive in nature, for example, the financials of the company. <clears throat> Switching over to the checklist-based task, you can see that individual um, checklist item here in the editor window, and you can add as many additional items as you like. You also have the ability to attach all of the files, select the deadlines, mark as private, add a category, and assign it to one or more users. I'm just going to hit cancel for now. <clears throat> Where Task Pigeon really stands out, though, is our marketplace offering. This is designed to allow teams to get more done each day. 
So for example, let's look at these tasks here and we might see that Mary Kate has been assigned a task to create a new blog post uh, outlining the top 10 tools for email marketing. Now it's got a deadline of this Friday and let's say that uh, Mary Kate unfortunately gets snowed under with a lot of other work. Well, she can simply click to outsource this task. Now that will bring her to the marketplace by Task Pigeon where we have a pre-vetted team of freelancers standing by to take work off you and your team. So in this instance a thousand word blog post could be purchased for a hundred dollars. Uh, Mary with the approval of Suzanne who's the admin of this account could click to purchase that and then we take care of the rest. So essentially what this means is that Instead of Mary Kate having to ask to delay this until next week or potentially cancel the task altogether, it can very easily be outsourced. I'm going to close that window for a moment and just show you our Marketplace by Task Pigeon uh, landing page, where you'll see that we have a number of tasks associated with a couple of different categories. So, for example, writing tasks, design based tasks, hiring a virtual assistant, and search engine optimization based tasks. All of these tasks are designed to be things that are digital in nature and don't require a huge amount of back and forth in terms of locking in the appropriate resource. Uh, our customers rely on us to pre-vet the freelancers and trust us to provide that high quality of service. Switching back to our dashboard, we might see another one uh, that would be suitable for outsourcing to our marketplace offering. For example, create a table of competitor offerings. So in this instance, we can see that this startup is looking to get a clear understanding of all their competitors. They want to develop a list in Excel, for example, of all the features of their competitor software. Now, this is a, a fairly straightforward task, but you know, in a startup, you might have more press, pressing issues like the development of the software itself or marketing campaigns. <clears throat> so again, that is something that could easily be outsourced, and in this instance, our virtual assistant, uh, a five-hour package may suit. So for $60, again, uh, Susan Johnson could purchase this package for her team and simply provide the same details that are in this task offering and our virtual assistant will be able to step in and take over and do that for them. <clears throat> so that essentially is Task Pigeon at a high level. Task Pigeon uh, operates as a software as a service offering. We have a free tier for teams of under five users and a, a paid tier that kicks in at $9 US per user per month. The paid tier has a number of additional features and functionality, some of which I've already described in this video. For example, our private task creation, as well as the ability to create checklist tasks. Some other pri uh, premium features include our integration with Zapier, the admin view, which allows the manager to get a view of each of their team members' dashboards, as well as the ability to export uh, details of your Task Pigeon account and get a CSV file of all the tasks that have been created. Thank you YC for taking the time to view this video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Task Pigeon. As I mentioned, please check the description below this video if you would like to log in and access this account. I've set it up so that you can um, play around and trial all the features and functionality of Task Pigeon. Thanks very much.